Welcome to lesson number 2.1, adding your first layer in QGIS. So I've opened up QGIS as you can see on my screen. And once we have done this, we can add a new layer to our project by using the, first of all, new map button. This creates a new project. And we will use the uh, data source manager for choosing the right vector layer in this case. We will use a shapefile that is part of the exercise data you can download at QGIS.org. So we'll go to the QGIS QGIS training data to the exercise data and here we will use the shapefile. First of all we will open up the protected areas.shp shp for shape and every shape file consists of in this case five different files a dbf a projection information a QP, a qpg and an shx file but the most important one is the protected uh, areas.shp we will use this one you can also select only to, to see the shape files and now only the shape files are highlighted we'll use this say okay and let's add this to my project. There we are. We are now having the protected areas inside the project and that's the first lesson. Um, but as you can see from the instructions you need to visualize also other layers. But first of all let's save our project. Use the save project button here. I'll go to the training data. I'll create a new fo folder. And save it as lesson 2.1. Oh, let's use an underscore. Now, this is the new project, which is a QGZ file. Z for QGS as zipped. So you can open it up with the zip viewer but that's another story then let's also add all the other parts in the exercise data once more open the data source manager select the source which is a vector shape file and let's open up the places and the rivers both together with the open function open close what you can see now these are all the data that is available once again we will save this now and by saving i mean it saves not only data section so what is part of the project at the moment we have three layers inside qgis and but it's also saving the style information and also the initial view so once again save and now we are fine. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. See you next lesson.